Oh, you tell me that's the sheriff? The sheriff can't hear you. The sheriff can't save you. What's the next? Let's see what the last ingredient is. The meat. The kid is gone. All right, guys. I just woke up. Um, I'm pretty tired, but I need to react to something. Dude, I've been on the streak for I don't even know how many days, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing really good right now. And because of that, I'm not going to stop. So as you can tell, four different videos. We're going to react to them all. Each of these videos are by their own YouTube channel, so I'm going to shout them out at the same time. So... Yeah. So shout out to Creative Pro Productions. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check it out. But other than that, you guys, I don't know what else to say. So let's go. All right, then first video. Stay safe. Analog horror. Warning: This tape is only meant for distribution in the Scarlet Lake school system. Uh, br bro, selling this recording is strictly prohibitive. Thank you. Oh, you know, I just realized I forgot to turn on my lights. There we go. A production by TV Edu or Education, featuring Sheriff Matthews. All right, Sheriff Matthews. Hey, kids. Hi. <laughs> I am the head of the police department here in the Scarlet Lake City, so I spend all the time I have keeping the city safe. However, I can protect. <laughs> However, I can protect you from all dangers. You must learn to protect yourself and stay safe. Today, I will help all of you kids learn how. All right. You gotta learn some new moves or something. I don't know. How can I be safe? Good question. You can be safe by just remembering the to stay. Oh, so, wait, what? Safe. Oh, stay safe. What does safe mean? You'll learn. Okay, okay. So it's an acronym for something. Uh, stay safe. Sane. Like, don't go crazy? Ah, go crazy. Go stupid. Stay sane. What do you think sane sane mean? Oh, could mean. Pause for discussion. All right. We're going to talk. What does it mean? I'm going to tell you what it means, bro. It means to not go crazy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, let's continue. <laughs> Being calm, not panicking, staying quiet. Bro, I literally did not do any of those stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Say, say, no. oh, okay, it's the same thing. Pause for discussion. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm the opposite of saying, man. You kids may think that loudly uh, calling for help is a good idea, but it is not. Someone will hear you, but do not. But not. <laughs> Dude, I was like studying and I didn't know what the heck was going on, man. Did you guys also notice that the music paused? I was like, heck no, nah, man. Let me read this one more time. Yeah, you kids may think that loudly calling for help is a good idea, but it is not. Someone will hear you, but not who you want. Oh. <sighs> Let's test your knowledge. All right, you guys ready? Scenario one. Oh, God. You are trapped in a house with a criminal. You are hiding from them. Your house is, okay, pause. Your house is just down the street. Do you try to call for your parents' help? Yes or no? Honestly, it depends like how old you are because if you're just a little kid, I mean, I guess that's pretty much your only option. I, I'm pretty sure you cannot outrun the criminal. But if you're an adult like me, bro, I mean, just but I'm gonna say yes because uh, it's always good uh, to ask for help, you guys. No, why? Think about it. Who is closer and can hear you better? Your parents or the criminal? But that means your parents are now um, aware that you're in trouble. So they're going to chase you and call the police, you know? I don't think that was right, but whatever. Good job, everyone. Not me, apparently. Stay sane, aware. Okay, uh, that's actually a good good tip, you guys. Always be aware of your surroundings, especially at night. Uh, stay aware. What do you think sane aware could mean? Pause for discussion. I won't pause because obviously I, I literally just told you what it means. Uh, being careful for if a situation or person seems unsafe. Exactly, yeah. Uh, oh, there's a guy peeking out from there. Uh, warning signs could be aware to of. <sighs> I just woke up, man. Okay. <laughs> warning signs to be aware of include weapons, wanting you to do strange things, avoiding your parents. Knowing these warning signs can help you avoid bad and unsafe people. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. At least the tips are actually like helpful because um yeah. wait avoiding your parents no 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 but sometimes oh oh but sometimes you never know oh he's holding a knife oh god dude but no no that last one it's not it's not good let's test your knowledge hey let's play is it safe oh this is music bro scenario one oh not safe yeah it's an abandoned house i assume Scenario two, that's safe. Right? I don't I'm checking if there was people there. I don't think so. Oh, what the heck? Uh not safe. Oh you what? Good job, everyone. That was creepy. 
and you guys hear the background music or the sounds, stay sane, aware, fighting slash flighting. Yeah. Fight or flight, in other words. Stay fighting or flighting. Uh, do you know what the f uh, fight or flight response is? Yeah, literally, I just said it. The fight or flight response is a natural instinct that keeps us safe. It is the instinct to either run away from a threat or to fight it. Uh, wait, what? It what situation should you run? Oh, uh, well, obviously, if you're wait, what a number or something situation where there is a clear way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's when you run. If you know you're gonna be safe, if you get out, if you run, do it. But if you're really trapped, your only last hope is to fight. In what situation should you fight? If you have like an arm, if you know combat training, something like that, you should fight in a situation where the other person has no weapon. Mm, that too. Or if there's no hope or escape. Yeah, that's basically a last result. Uh, result. <laughs> Wait, I just realized I said result and not resort. My bad, you guys. Again, I'm just tired. Uh, oh, let's test your knowledge. All right, here we go. Oh, fight or flight. I don't like this music again. Scenario one, a criminal tries to pickpocket uh, you on the street and fails. They are going to try again. Would you fight or flight? I mean, again, does he have a weapon or something? Scenario one, if you choose option A, what happened, flight? What happens if you flight? Oh, wait, 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 oh, oh, oh I didn't read the top, my bad. Uh, if you choose option A, which is uh, fight, right? You may not win, yeah, because he could be armed or something. What's B, if you choose B, great. Okay, yeah, yeah, I thought so. I was gonna say B too. Uh, you have a lot of space to get away. All right, scenario one, we did good. Scenario two, a swarm of preschoolers blocks the path. They are taunting you. There is no escape. Fight or flight? You, dude, you fly, bro. You ain't gonna fight. Fight if you choose option A. Good job. No, they're preschoolers. They're just kids. You can most likely defeat a preschooler. I mean, I'm pretty sure anyone can, but <laughs> that's irrelevant. If you choose option B, you would not have any place to go. That one's that was, that was weird. Good job, everyone. Uh, educated. Okay, so we got saying aware, fighting, flighting, and educated. <sighs> oh, uh, time for the final review. Oh God! Question one: Does this person look safe? No, not safe. He's holding a knife. Should you scream? Um, I mean, if you're close to dying, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, yeah. But obviously, no. Fight or flight? Flight. You cannot fight him, bro. One lucky hit and you're dead. If you choose fight, oh, 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 I knew it. If you choose flight, good job. That was weird. It was a glitch. Oh, you should now go call the sheriff. Wait, 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 wait. He's gonna run up to you. He's gonna run up to you. The sheriff isn't listening. Oh, are you telling me that's the sheriff? The sheriff can't hear you. The sheriff can't save you. Oh. All right, here we go. I couldn't save them. There are no monsters. Don't end up like them. Stay safe. I will keep you safe. The sheriff? Was that the guy with the knife, the sheriff? Oh, he got him. Good job, everyone. I hope all of you learned something from this lesson. Yeah, don't trust your sheriff. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. Obviously, they're good people, you guys. Trust them. They're your only hope of help. That wasn't creepy. All right, next one. <laughs> okay, next video. Cooking with Lou. Analog horror. All right, cooking with Lou? Sounds fun. Oh, whoa. Cooking with Lou, episode zero, pilot. Lou's uh, delicious meat pie. Oh no, I already know where this is heading, man. What if, if there's the word meat? Uh, I, oh, let's find out, actually. I'm jumping to conclusions right now. Cooking with Lou. Have you ever wanted to make a meat pie but didn't know how? No, I don't want to. That sounds gross. Statistics show that most people do not know or do not have the necessary knowledge to make one. Never try. How about they don't want to make it? In the first edition of our magnificent cooking program, we will learn how to make a delicious meat pie. I. But I'm not alone. I welcome the real star of this show. The kid! The kid's gonna a be the pie! Of applause I'm for calling Master it! Chef Lou, and to our special guests. 
son and father. Ah, oh, father, why did you bring that son? He is an expert in the kitchen and he is going to give us an easy, short, and above all, healthy pie recipe. The little kid is jumping. Oh, I bet Lou is looking at that kid, man. Let's He's see like, what the first ingredient is. Tomato. Look, it's a tomato. Go. Tomato is a very healthy fruit and is a good source of vitamin C and follet. Follet. What is follet? But the best of all is that children love tomatoes. So we are going to include it in our meat pie. <laughs> the freaking clap. Oh, did you see it was flashing for a bit? Oh, let's see what the second ingredient is. Flour? Oh. Amazing. It's a garlic. Garlic, okay. Despite being spicy, garlic helps our immune system a lot. Oh! In this way we can prevent multiple diseases. Very interesting, right? Plus, kids love garlic. Well done, Lou. Kids like garlic? Why are you saying that, bro? Mmm. Oh. Let's see what the next ingredient is. Obviously the meat. Oh, salt. Wow, it's time to add salt. It is very important that we do not add the salt directly from the salt shaker, since we cannot measure exactly how much salt we are adding. Ooh. Oh For my this, God. it is better to use a spoon. Lou is only going to apply a tablespoon of salt. Brilliant. Now we know more about salt. We are almost professionals in the kitchen. Okay, the clap is getting annoying now. <laughs> What's the uh, next? Let's see what the last ingredient is. The meat! The kid is gone! And his it hands are... A juicy piece of meat. It is the main ingredient of this recipe. I called it, bro. I meat literally called it. It is very healthy it. and is a source of vitamin B12, vitamin B6, and vitamin A. Plus, it's the favorite food of everyone who loves His hands to watch are red. our cooking show. Amazing. How does the father not realize his kid is gone? Don't tell me he's gonna eat the meat. <gasps> Bro! Oh no! With only 15 minutes in the oven, Lou has already finished preparing his delicious pie. Stop with the clapping, bro! He literally committed murder! <laughs> now is your turn. That's all for tonight. See oh, okay. you in the next program. I thought the father was going to eat it. I was like, dude, thanks for watching. This guy got going to go to jail. <laughs> uh, oh, if you have a friend named Lou, stay away from him. All right, then. Sleepover. Yeah. I remember having a sleepover with the boys, dude. <laughs> Some crazy stuff. Uh, October 13, something, something. I, okay. Gotcha! Wait, is that the actual name? <laughs> Home video? That's funny. Uh, the unauthorized reproduction of distribution of this copyright work is a little, okay. It won't, I already know what it was <laughs> going to be, but whatever. Time is 962. Ooh. Find yourself. Whoa, 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 okay, hold up. The there was a message at the bottom. Don't look at the at the what? Yourself Don't look at the what, the dude? Of the night. Follow this night so you know what to do. First check everybody else. Make sure their eyes are closed and they still have all their facial features. If anything seems even just a little bit. Oh, off, they have no heads. Immediately. Go back to you sleep. Being visited. It's giving me a Mandela catalog it's vibes. Goes normally. Look, Look at, at the, the sky. sky. Do not go back to sleep until the sky goes back to normal. Whoa. 
Why? Well, why is it red in the first place? Something's up in this world. The whisper. Do not beg. They don't feel empath oh, empathy. Huh? Hey. Okay, we got some footage. Oh, we do. Ooh. Oh, that's the freaking, um, the cable man from the back rooms. Game pixels. And that was it. I don't know what kind of sleepover they're having, man, but the one I have. <laughs> okay, last video. The Watcher, part one. Let's end this, man. Ow! Emergency broadcast system severe alert to all residents of the following states until further notice. Okay, well, which uh, states? This is an alert for all residents of Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri, and Illinois. There have That's been a lot, but Ohio. reports of the Watcher in your area. Oh no, bro! Creature of a known origin that is considered to be highly dangerous. <laughs> this emergency broadcast will explain what you should do if this creature appears in your home. There okay. is very few clear images of the watcher. Most come from people who have used cameras or camcorders to investigate strange sounds in their home. It seems to be a humanoid creature oh, with no. pale skin and a skeletal body structure. From what is known Giving me from SCP vibes, man. Zero nine six. Individually, it observes its victims from a distance before attacking. Victims are often found in a state of total body devastation, <laughs> which means most victims can only be identified. Bro, turn it into, into Lego pieces. It talks a victim in three stages. First stage is usually the last time people see the watcher. It you can see his be head top left. The corner of your eye, and when you take a closer look, it would have already moved away. If you appear to be aggressive or armed, the watcher will never return to you again. Oh, okay. Report any sightings to your local authorities, as this will provide valuable data on the creature. Second stage is when the watcher has decided on its victim. It oh, is no. usually a day after the first stage. If you see the watcher day after? at the time, it is urgent that you arm yourself and immediately request assistance from your local authorities. A specialist team will be dispatched to your home. If the watcher returns, it will be destroyed by the specialists. Okay, you so it's killable. You're breathing from a darker area or around a corner of your house, as the watcher will be much closer to you than the first sighting. Why is? You why would you even stay in the ho in the same house to begin with? I would have left. It moves away from sight. Third stage is the final stage. Oh. Often a day after the second stage, the watcher will attack its victim at this stage. Oh. Without yes, help, I have the quickly. victim will not survive. Lego pieces. You will likely be killed in this stage. Okay, However, a 70-year-old woman managed to scare the watcher away at the third stage. Oh, whoa. She knew something was in her house, so she prepared herself and recorded the event. All right, we're going to see the footage. Audio removed due to significant bad language. Oh, pull out the strap. The watcher has not been seen in this town since. The watcher will stalk anyone, determining if a victim is worth pursuing. Usually it will leave if a possible victim appears violent or armed with a weapon. However, if you have children, know <gasps> someone who is blind or is elderly, make sure to protect them or remain with them at night. People who are blind or elderly are significantly at risk as they will not be able to see or scare away the watcher no. and the children do not scare it at all. Sadly, there has already been 12 cases of children falling victim to this creature. No! There have been attempts at capturing or killing this creature, but so far no attempts have been successful. Considering how someone being armed or possibly dangerous will easily scare away the watcher, oh. it is likely that this creature is weak and will only attack weak victims. It is not advised that you attempt to fight in hand-to-hand -hand contact with this creature. As if you have no choice. Use ranged weapons. Now you will know what to do if you see the watcher. Remember the three stages. First, report any sightings. That's day one. Second, arm yourself and call for help. That's Third, day two, basically. Prepare for anything and hope you survive. Point. That's this day emergency three. broadcast will now repeat. Oh, uh, emergency broadcast severe alert. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and that was it. Well, at least no one died, I think. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you saw, but I just spit a little bit on my mic in. It's gross. Yeah. But yeah, um, if you're a kid, blind, or you're just old, you're kind of But we're done. Bye.